Babylas is a fantastic website um, which you can use for mind mapping with your students. So just type in bubble and then us into Google and you'll get to this website. I usually just go to start brainstorming because the brainstorms I want to do usually only take one lesson. If you wanted to be able to save it and collaborate you will need um, to ask your students to sign up. So just click there if you want to do it. it. All you need is an email and a password. So if I just go on start brainstorming and you get straight to the mind mapping page and you've still got this option to sign in here if you want. So there's your main one. If you hover over the bubble you can just go up and you can change the colour of it. So you don't like the yellow, choose a purple instead. The size, now I'm actually going to make the size much bigger because it's my main bubble. And then connect is when you want to connect the bubbles together. We'll use that a bit later. Um, attach, you need to actually pay for um, an upgrade to be able to attach pictures. Um, I don't think they're really that important in my mapping. So just go and type in um, your topic, whatever it is. So, for instance, my students, we've been doing World War II. Um, you can look at the example um, on my blog if you wish. So once you've done that and you're happy with your bubble, just click off, hover over again, and it's this one at the bottom, the little tab, and it's a child bubble. And that means it's basically, um, this, this one's kind of that, the dad, and then you've got the, the son or daughter. They're kind of underneath, if you know what I mean. Um, and then type in um, your subtopic into there and then again you can hover and do all the different and it really is as simple as that um, if you go on the other one the side one is just as a separate one so then you can start linking them together okay um, if you connect connect and then go across to the one you wanted to connect to um, that's another thing you can do if you're not happy um, just delete but it really is as simple as that. The subtopic, again, you can have its children. Um, and it's really clever because it does it in three um, different levels. If that message just comes up um, to prompt you to create a new account, I'm just going to press OK. So you can go on for as big a mind map as you want. Uh, use this to zoom in, zoom out. You can make it fit the page. Nice undo button there. Um, if you want to select a number of um, bubbles to change uh, different things, click on this one. When you are happy, um, you can save it if you have signed in. Um, otherwise, um, your students, you can get them to print it directly. Or the one I like doing um, is exporting. So you go to export, and then I'm going to choose a JPEG image, which is your standard image. And it will basically save um, save the my map as a picture. Choose where you want, and then you'll see at the bottom it saved it just as a nice picture. And then what I ask my children to do is upload them to something like Google Classroom, where they can all have a look at each other's. Um, and you can even print from that as well. Just the last thing I want to um, tell you over on when you have created an account. Um, you can actually have two students working together. It's really easy to do. All they have to do is, um, instead of this pane, there would be add student. So they add the student and then they click on um, the sharing button and they share um, with, with the um, friend. They can just put the email in or the other student's username that they've created. Uh, it's very, very simple to do. Um, the only problem is you, the, the students can't and work on it simultaneously. So if they were in class, they'd have to work on one computer um, helping each other. But what's really nice is if they take it away for homework, um, they can actually work on it at different times. And you know they've created something together, um, but at different times, if that makes sense. Um, but it's a great program, really, really useful, and just very simple as well. Thank you.